So we're here at the SID Display Week here with the Dura Touch. Hello. Hi there, how are you? So who Hello. are you? I'm Forrest Folsom. I work for UICO. I handle marketing for UICO, so please feel free to reach out to me. <laughs> um, we're here today at Display Week because we make displays work everywhere in any condition, harsh environment. So you can use touch all over the planet. Any kind of situation, if your fingers are greasy, it's pouring rain, out in the snow, and okay. with gloves. So what's, what's there? What are you showing here? Yeah, so we are showing here water performance on UICO screen. So this is a seven inch screen on chart plotter and we actually make touch work in this heavy tons of water falling on the screen. And guess what, we not only make it uh, work, we make it work really well with pinch and zoom, with touch uh, panning on the screen. We actually also make it work with glove. So actually, with gloves too. With glove and water together. And this is the seven inch screen that So what do you do to the screen? You Are you on the, on the software or? So we provide the complete solution. So we provide controller, the firmware, the software, the full stack up, optical bonding, and we bond it to the display as well. So we are a one-stop shop solution for our customers. So where so is your technology? this is a sensor. Our technology is here. In the chip. In yeah. the chip, and in, then the, this in is, the sensor. Yeah, it's our design, sensor. it's our bonding. And so you, you look at it from start to finish, we do it all from controller to firmware to this chip the flex design, to sensor design to bonding. And you have it on your wearable right now? Yeah, I do. So today I'm demoing um, a children's watch. This is in the Asian market. And so this is the original um, customer's watch. And if you see if I get my finger wet, I can't use it. And if I'm a little kid and I'm trying to reach out to my parents, that's really, really tough. But here I still have wet finger and our touch just works, no problem. Yeah? That's cool. And then here I also wanted to show you that we make our touch work with not just water, but water and glove together. This actually nobody can do in the industry. This is just Uico who actually brings this kind of performance. And that's why our OEMs actually love us. How does it work? Because it's capacitive touch screen, right? Yes, yeah, so capacitive. So you make some kind of magic to make it work we through everything? We make all kinds of magic in the software, in the design, in the sensing, in the scanning. We do all that. Yes. Let's check some more demos you have around here. Absolutely. Yeah, we're yeah. going to show you Surface. This is something really cutting edge. So uh, Geary's going to demo your hey. touch Surface. So who are you? Um, my name is Giri Tubu and I'm an application engineer at UICO. Uh, so what are you showing here? So we are, uh, uh, this is a surface demo that shows that we can work on different uh, surfaces. We have a plastic with the, uh, at the, the thickness of glass up to 5 mm. And um, we have a opaque surface here. Um, we can hit both with wood, leather and plastic. This is a, a shape? Yes, this is a concave shaped. We, have, we support curved screens too. So then it works in the shower, for so example? Yes. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so this is the thickest, so five millimeter. This is a concave button, and this is another concave button. And you can see that I can just touch the very thick plastic, and that's a slider right there. So applications would be putting it into fabric, on a jacket perhaps, if you were trying to control something on clothing. You could do it in a car interior, you could do it on a steering wheel. We have actually a, an example of that here. So this is your touch surface in a joystick. So under the joystick, there is an actual touch surface. And it curves, bends, wraps, so that we can conform it to any complex surface. Now what this enables here is, if I'm not gripping this properly, I can't use the device. So if I knock the crane, you can see here, it kind of knows I'm there, but it's not going to let me engage and move it. But if my hand is firmly on it, now I can actually move, I'm sorry, not the crane, but the missile launcher. And so I can fire it now if I want to actually fire a missile. Nice. So you should sell this to the military, right? Actually, Many applications. This is an industrial joystick. We actually yeah. use it for industrial market. This is actually in production with John Deere. Uh, 2010, we launched it, and actually agriculture. That's cranes. Cranes and yeah, snowmobile. Those kind of vehicles we use it today. So that's very important to have safety to know that somebody's there. Safety yes. is very yes. important for you, Ico. We not only provide the immersive touchscreen experience, but we make sure that it's actually safe to use and safe to handle. So one of the other things that we would like to show you here is today we are in production from 3 inch to 12 inch screen and we are bringing 15.6 inch to the market this year and then our plan is to take up to 24 inch next year. So we make it easy for our customers with standard designs from 3 inch, 5 inch, 7 inch, 9 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, they are all in production and actually you see it on the screen there, actually. these are the different screen sizes. Which one is this? This one is our 10 inch uh, screen. And this is actually a plug-and-play solution, so our customers can take it 
and plug it into a Windows machine and works natively and they can actually start testing UI Eco solutions. Do you have another demo over there? Yes, so we would like, to, uh, Vic, this is Victor Barron, he's going to show you our glove performance demo. Yes, hey. uh, me being a technical guy, I am showing off here uh, what is uh, looking for, uh, very much uh, like common uh, PC application, which is uh, uh, to many people, it appears like not challenging, but uh, we are, as uh, our Nova says, we are all weather touch. So we are dealing with some applications or some aspects all that not anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world that not many of our competitors can do. Specifically, with a very thick glove, our screens are responding, and also you see an extreme uh, case of uh, water pouring over there. But our screens operate as well with the sweaty fingers, with the wet fingers. So we are really show here how even what seems to be a simple application, how we differentiate our capabilities. So uh, in very, very cold places, freezing is okay? Yes, it's yeah. absolutely okay because people typically would use it with very thick gloves. So what we have done today is we make it work with thick gloves, snow gloves, motorcycle gloves, any kind of gloves we actually support it today. And the other thing that we, uh, we would like to mention is when you go in cold temperature and you start walking to the room where the device starts to warm up, we actually handle the temperature very, very gracefully. So the touch continues to function, no false touches or no, no, no response from the screen, all that is not a problem with you, Ico. So the, your technology is very important for this planet? Very, very important. Because there's so, all kinds of stuff going on here. There's rain. Yes. So, in sweat. fact, in fact, if you look at our markets today, we are in appliance. We are in outdoor gas pumps. We are in ATM machines. We are in agriculture off-road vehicles like motorcycles, scooters. Uh, so, any outdoor uh, application, we are there today. In marine, where you know, in the boats, fish finders, chart plotters, we are there. So, a lot of these applications require very ruggedized. Uh, the solutions, for, and that's where you Ico actually do best. Which one is that? So these are the two devices that I wanted to show you. This is um, uh, a, a PM OLED console uh, screen, and this actually works uh, 0.96 in size. And this is very similar to like a band here that we went to production. And this uh, actually works really well. Um, this is a high cling, right? This, this is a Vivo Smart HR from oh, Garmin, yeah. and yeah. this is the PM OLED on cell screen. So in the display. In the display. So we do that, and we do a small three-inch. This is where it comes with the, goes on a bike, and we use that. And, um, this is in production, high volume production. Um, again, Sweaty bicyclists with gloves. With gloves. Bicycles, typically people have gloves on them and so they would want to use it with gloves and we actually do a good and job. even if they fall into the mud with their bicycle, they get up and it still works. And it'll still work, yes. So we support any kind of dirt, oil, grind, blood. How about, uh, uh, could you get into the smartphone business? So we, I can't use my smartphone every time I wash my I, hands. I know we people would want us to be in the smartphone, we, but we are not in today because we uh, think our technology is best used in industrial application, and so we want to go after that market where they really need a uh, harsh environment. Smartphones typically are more indoor; uh, people don't really care to use them with so much water. People have asked us that, hey, can you guys uh, give us a solution in smartphones? But we want to stay away from the consumer for market. Now. For now, yes. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Right. Yes, absolutely. Cool. All right, it was a good show here at the SID? Yeah, we're having a great show. Um, our customers are here, and it's been great to connect with them and have them see our demos firsthand. And you know, we tried to set up the use case with our sand and rocks and water. And, yeah. yeah, we've been here uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it was like really full. Today's Thursday. But a lot of leads, a lot of customers showing a lot of interest. People are want to actually take us to production quickly. Some people have come with projects where they are not able to solve these kind of problems. There is a customer who said, oh, I have a lot of problem with my current touch provider. Can you actually solve uh, this problem for me with temperature or with water? They're very excited to see uh, this kind of performance. And the human sensing tech that you have, where you check somebody's actually there. Otherwise, you don't activate. Or also for the smartwatch. Oh, Correct. on the wrist sense, yeah. yes. yes, yes. So um, there's another band that we did, um, and we have a special sensing in the back plate of it. it we call it wrist sense. Yeah. So the way it works is we have an electrode on the back of the device. So when you wear it, the device knows that it's on user's wrist. When I take it off, the device knows 
that I'm no longer on the user's wrist. Doesn't so that, use the power. So that means the device can actually shut itself off. Some of the sensors can be shut down and save power, battery. Or when I'm on, they can actually enable certain functionality, like night mode can be automatically turned on when my wrist is not moving. And the, the high cling. So this is the high cling cling band. Um, this band has numerous sensors. It has about seven or eight different sensors. So you can imagine those consume a lot of power. And so what we've done um, through wrist sense, which Benet was describing, is just made it possible for the device not to be on all the time, and therefore it can last up to eight days. And they're adding even more sensors. So you're, pretty soon you're going to be able to test your blood alcohol on this device in the next generation. So that's pretty exciting stuff. So we are excited uh, about overall about the performance that we bring to the table for our customers. Not only we do um, touch with display, but one of the things I was also showing the touch surfaces that we actually can work with different materials. So like we work on leather, we work with leather, we work with wood, we work with um, acrylic, thick acrylic to provide ruggedized. A lot of customers say, you know, like gas pump customers are saying, people don't use my screen with fingers, they actually we use the gas nozzle to are touching the screen and I re really need the ruggedized uh, cover lens. And so we provide that. We provide plastic. up to f plastic, glass, four so millimeters. the future of flexible displays, you will be part of that? Absolutely, yeah, that's something we actually love. That's where we actually shine even more because plastic is flexible and we support plastic and we can support thick plastic, thin plastic to make it more flexible, durable, bendable, wrappable, we do all that. But we also bring the all-weather use case with that um, technology. So that's what's so exciting and different about it. So in a year or two, people are going to be able to have flexible, crazy things that just throw it in the mud and it just works. You can still touch. Yeah, so, so clearly the uh, market is going there, right? Making things flexible. Of course, the display industry has been slightly behind the curve. They have promised for, for, for many years that it's going to be there. I think it's slowly now trickling in. We do see some of these and we are already working on these displays to make sure that we have the technology and solution that can make it work. And so yeah.